Hello, I'm Deborah Daniel. Thank you for tuning in to Alabama A&M Front Page, where we focus on the news you care about from the Hill. We show you uplifting and encouraging stories and achievements of our students, faculty, and staff on the beautiful campus of Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M's new head football coach, Connell Maynard, has finally made it to the Hill. AAMU Front Page student reporter Justin Garrett attended the news conference where the new coach was introduced. You can still go to the NFL from right here. Plenty of people have done it before. Alabama A&M new head football coach Cornell Maynard is already making waves. You know his excitement, his enthusiasm, but his ability to discipline his young men, his vision for winning programs, what it takes, what it's going to involve, and how we have to make it a team effort, and that got me all excited because those are the makings of having a successful program. Athletic Director Brian Hicks feels very confident that the new hire will excel on and off the field. Hold them accountable for everything they do. Miss class, late for class, uh, miss weights, late for weights, practice, whatever, it don't matter. In addition to having a winning mindset in the classroom and on the field, he wants to also be involved in the community. We get the community involved, get out to the Boys and Girls Club. Alabama a &M supporters are very anxious to see the program turn around and truly believe Coach Manor will be the guy to do it. Also during the news conference, a goal was said to have the highest number of season ticket holders for the upcoming season. With a new head football coach in place, the university would also like to put a new scoreboard in place at Lewis Crew Stadium. Alabama A&M President Dr. Andrew Hugini Jr. made it clear during Coach Maynard's news conference the community's help is still needed for the Score a Million, Give a Million campaign for a brand new stadium scoreboard and a new marquee on North Memorial Parkway. If you would like to help, just head to aamu.edu, click on the Give Now button, and select AAMU Scoreboard. Or you can send a text to 50155. Contributions are tax deductible. For more information, call 256-372-8344. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 12,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer every year in this country. That's why Student Health and Counseling Services hosted a seminar for Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Students received important information about regular screenings for cervical cancer and the human papillomavirus, or HPV. Cervical cancer initially starts in the cervix. It's slow, slow growing. So if women will go ahead and do pap exams once every three years after the age of 21, you can catch it and not die from it. The CDC recommends women 21 to 29 get a pap smear every three years. Women 30 to 65 can get one every five years if they also include an HPV test. Next week, the Alabama A&M will host the Black Male Summit, which will focus on fighting stigmas against black men. Young men, including high school students, are invited to attend this event. The summit starts on Wednesday and ends with a gala on Friday. Wednesday's event, titled Beating the Odds, will be held in the Clyde Foster Multipurpose Room, and all other events will be held in the Knight Center. The men will have an opportunity to talk about everything from etiquette to mental health. Beating the Odds is a black male. Uh, the different challenges that you have going through your life, uh, college, the ups and downs, uh, graduation rates, um, facing retention rates. You want to make sure that we, we have a solid foundation how we can understand that we can beat the things that are up against us. There is still time to register. Just visit the Alabama A&M website for more information. The goal of career development services on campus is to prepare students for professional success. Right now, CDS is gearing up for its annual Career Preparedness Week. It's a week of information that prepares students for career opportunities during and after their time at Alabama A&M. Events range from an open house to resume reviews and mock Every interviews. Every single student on this campus can benefit because you can always strengthen and enhance your skills from the mock interview day to the you know, negotiating salary. Career Preparedness Week begins Monday, January 29th through Friday, February 2nd. And for more information on the location of events, students can check for an email from Angel Lee or a stop by Patton Hall, Room 101. Still to come on Alabama A&M Front Page, improvements to the quad are now underway. Find out what's in store for the university's hot spot next. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. Their student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University. 
where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your head. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Some major upgrades are underway on the quad. Work began over the holiday break. We're adding sprinklers to the quad to help for the beautification. Uh, a lot of times the quad has uh, barren patches, ball patches, uh, due to the fact that we don't have any irrigation. So we will be adding irrigation over the next few days. What this is going to do is going to help keep the grass as green as possible um, longer. Uh, help with some of the patches that we have. We are adding a different type of seed in as well. Um, we're adding a Texas bluegrass seed, which is a little more hardier, a little more greener as well, that it will also help last throughout the winter seasons as well. The Office of Student Activities hosted a dining etiquette workshop with etiquette expert Denise Marcia. Students learned about table setting, which utensils to use, and table manners as well. They were also treated to a five-course meal. Those who attended had to reserve a seat with a proper RSVP. The Marching Maroon and White tackle another year at the annual Honda Battle of the Bands. The band has been practicing in this bitter cold to prepare for the 16th annual contest in Atlanta, Georgia. They will compete against seven other HBCU bands on January 27th. Um, we've been out here for a lot of hours, like in the cold. Like, I think yesterday it was like 21 degrees. Like we Before they battle it out, the band will visit various high schools to recruit new students for next year. There's more to come, but first, a look at some upcoming events on the Hill. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. And the home of Mellow Madness till midnight. Ninety point nine WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 
Two thumbs up for the Alabama A&M University family, which donated almost $28,000 to the United Way campaign. The contributions will be used to support the United Way of Madison County in all of their community services. The organization creates opportunities by focusing on education, income, and health. The United Way calls them the building blocks of a good quality life. To learn more about A&M's contribution and the United Way, visit www uwmadisoncounty.org. Thanks for watching the Alabama A&M Front Page on WJAB-TV. Front Page hopes to show you everything students, faculty, and staff are involved in on and off campus. They are stories you will want to hear. And if you have a news story you want covered, please email Latoya Clemens at WJABTV underscore production one at AAMU.edu. I'm Deborah Daniel. Thanks for watching Alabama A&M Front Page.